Yeah, today we're going to tackle a question in uh, something called um, a construction of curves. So here's a paper for surveying. Uh, this question paper was done last year, Diploma in Quantity Surveying. And I'm going to tackle a question there uh, which can help us to understand this topic more. So we are going to look at question number one. So uh, the question number one, B. Uh, let's observe and see. Uh, so a simple circular curve is to be set out with pegs at very 30 meter continuous chainage of uh, 2745.95 meters. If the deflection angle of the curve is 45 degrees 30 minutes 35 seconds and the minimum distance of the curve from the intersection of the two straights is 35 meters calculate roman 1 the radius of the curve roman 2 the changes at the beginning and at the end of the curve roman 3 the deflection angle of the first subcode the standard code and the last subcode so this is a total of 15 marks so let's go and look at the solution so i had already done the calculation uh, i just wanted you to observe a little so here in this question we were told uh, the minimum distance of the curve from the intersection of the two straights is 35 meters so that minimum distance in other terms that is the apex distance of the curve so here is a simple drawing so this is a in a in illustration of the curve so we are illustrating the curve that we have supposed to construct and the minimum distance from the intersection point to where the curve is in the middle that is 35 meters so here we come and we read the formula of the apex distance. So the apex distance is equals to r sec theta over 2 minus 1. Uh, we come and equate. So the apex distance is equal. So the apex distance here is equal to 35 meters. So 35 meters is equals to r which is the radius which you are supposed to calculate here. So r into brackets sec 45 uh, 30 35 so this is the deflection angle that we had been given in the question here so this is the deflection angle that we were told in the question <laughs> using that deflection angle so you divide it by 2 then minus 1 so you come to your calculator uh, you go and use the sine cos so you input the word so you input cos 45 30 35 uh, divide by 2 then after you get your answer you find the inverse so you press the inverse in the calculator and that will be equal to sec so when you press the inverse and you minus a 1 and you get 0 0.0844 so this 0 0.844 divided by 35 it will give you the radius so here our final answer is 414.5 687 so this is our radius that we have gotten and it, it we have gotten it from the apex distance so we come to the next question <coughs> we are told to calculate the changes at the beginning and the end of the curve and here we have been given the change of intersection as 2745.95 so that is what we are going to apply here in order for us to find t1 so t1 that is change at the beginning and then t2 is the change at the end so before uh, calculating it first you must find the tangent length and the tangent length here in this concept uh, that is r tan theta 2 so we have already calculated our radius which is r then tan the deflection angle divided by 2 and here is the answer that we get so after calculating the tangent length 
uh, we can go even ahead and calculate the length of the curve because this will be applied in finding t2 so the formula of finding the length of the curve is pi theta r over 180 so i have simplified the formula in order for us to understand it so you come into the calculator you put pi times the deflection angle that you had been given times r which we had calculated over 80 and our answer becomes 329.384 meters so that is the length of the curve and the length of the curve is the distance from t1 to t2 so the length of the curve the one that is following the curve that we are supposed to set so that is the length of the curve so you must calculate t1 there and here we have to go up to t2 so having done the tangent length and the length of the curve we come ahead and we calculate t1 so t1 will be so we already have the change of intersection given in the question here so we use that change of intersection minus the tangent length and in this case we had already calculated the tangent length here so you just subtract and you get your t1 so having gotten the answer for t1 the tangent so the change of for the first so the change at the beginning of the curve that is 2572.02 uh, in our next formula so t2 is equals to t1 plus the length of the curve here we had already calculated t1 so we just input the t1 plus the length of the curve that we had already seen here in our previous calculation so the addition of those two will give you 2900 and 1.4 meters so here we have already answered our second question so the changes at the beginning and the end of the curve so that is t1 and t2 which we have already calculated here uh, so having done that we come to the third so here in the third we are supposed to find the deflection angles of the first sub code <coughs> the standard code and the last code and having seen that so here we come uh, from our t1 because you are supposed to move so the codes are obtained so the codes are obtained in the curve so the codes follow the curve so in order for us to get the codes first we must start at the beginning of t1 and here at the beginning of t1 we had already calculated t1 so here t1 is 2572.02 and we have been told here so the curve is to be settled with pegs at interval of 30 meters continuous so 30 meters that is the chain that we are going to apply so t1 divided by the 30 meter peg interval that is the chain uh, here we obtain 84.0734 here we have 85 full chains in order for us to reach t1 but there was a decimal so the last change did not fully reach 30. so in order for us to go to get where our change ended so in other terms you can multiply uh, 84 times 83 times 30 then you subtract your answer from t1 then you can also do zero point so here the last the decimal point so 0 0.734 times 30 and you get the distance that had remained in order for us to reach t1 so this is the distance that remained which was not a fully 30 so if it was a fully 30 we could not have gotten it because it's already there so here we were supposed to have a 30 but we did not reach the 30 meter chain that gave us the 30 peg interval so the remainder of our changes was 22.02 this is the value that was needed in order in order for us to reach t1 and that is the value that you're going to calculate the first subcode 
so that value that we were remaining with that is the value that it is remaining so if this road was coming from somewhere so here we had 85 full peg intervals of 30 but we did not reach the t1 so we find the difference and the and the remaining distance that we were supposed to have in order for us to reach t1 and that distance we have already seen here in our calculation so that is 22.02 meters so in order for us to get our first code and this first code is on the length of the curve so the first code is already in the length of the curve so here we come and we minus 30 minus the remainder that we were supposed to have so that is the the, that is the peg interval that was supposed to be there. So in the first subcode, we minus the 30. Uh, the one, the 30 that we have been given here. So the 30 meter chain, the interval that was supposed to be there. So we subtract 30 to 22. And we find in order for us to reach the full peg, we were supposed to have 7 point nine eight meters so 7.98 meters that is the first uh subcode in our formula so that is the first subcode that we are supposed to have then we come ahead and we go ahead to see the other codes so here i've already drawn a curve so this is a curve that represented the curve that we are supposed to set so we have already gotten the the distance so this is the first subcode in the curve so that is 7.98 so in order for us to get the other codes we subtract uh we subtract that from the length of the curve so we had already calculated the length of the curve previously so the length of the curve minus the first subcode and we get so this is 321.4 meters that is the value that remained in order for us to continue and finish the whole curve so when you subtract this is the distance that we need but here we have full peg intervals of 30 so we, we need to know how many peg intervals of 30 we were supposed to have so i come ahead and divide by 30 the answer that i i had gotten so the remainder so that is uh 30 meters so this is 321.4 divided by 30 and i get so we have 10 full subcodes of 30 meter interval so those are 10 full subcodes but here we had a remainder so the remainder which was not a full so a full code uh so when you multiply the 10 full times 30 you get 300 so 300 minus so 321.4 minus 300 and you get the remaining subcode that had remained on the last point in order for us to reach t2 that is the end of the curve so that was 21.4 and here we come and we write so the second full code up to the 11th code we have 30 meters then the last sub code is mm, 21.4 meters so that is the last sub code so here we have already answered our so our codes we have already gotten the first sub code the standard code and the last sub code so we come ahead and we calculate the deflection angles for all those codes so the deflection angles we have a simple formula uh, that we had gotten in the uh, derivation of the codes so here we come so the deflection angle is equals to uh, 17 18.9 times the first the first sub code that we had calculated earlier that is seven point uh nine eight then we divide it by r which is the radius then when you get our your, our answer we divide our answer by 60 and this 60 is represented by the minutes here 
So the CGST we divided by CGST. After dividing it by CGST, uh, you go ahead in your calculator and you press the uh, the mark where we have our our B. So when you press there, it changes the whole answer to minutes, uh, degrees, and seconds. So our answer will be zero degrees thirty three minutes five seconds. Then we come and we find the deflection angle for the full chords. So the deflection angle for this full chords. So the formula remains. So it's 1718.9 times the chord which is 30 uh, divided by R which we had already calculated there. Then our answer we divide it by the minutes. So when you change that it becomes 60 seconds. So we divide it by 60 seconds in order for us to have our answer in degrees minutes and seconds so the same after dividing it you multiply the b in the calculator so the b there it changes your answer to uh, degrees minutes and seconds so our answer becomes two uh, degrees four minutes 21 seconds then we come ahead and we calculate the last so the last deflection angle for the last subcode so we do the same so that is 1718.9 times the last subcode which we had already calculated there as 21.4 divided by r then our answer we divide it by cgst because here the formula is in minutes so we divide it by cgst uh, after dividing by 60, you press the B in the calculator and it changes your answer to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So in order for us to see if our answer was correct, we go ahead and we check. So these are arithmetic check. So we add all the deflection angles and our answer is supposed to be a half what we were given in the question so the answer is supposed to be a half the deflection angle of the curve and if you do that well uh, your answer will check so that will be all and this uh, pdf will be available in the link below